Hey, what is going on, people? This is your boy Sketch, aka the artist, coming to you live in Never Color. Today, we are going to be talking once again about how to dominate sketch pads in 2023. The first video we did was an introduction on this series, and now we're definitely going to be taking a look at this awesome creative thing to give you guys some pointers and tools that I actually use to actually help speed up the workflow of me filling up these sketch pads. This video is going to have three parts to it. This is the introduction. The next part of the video is going to be tools of the trade. And then the final part of the video is going to give you guys some tips and advice to dominating your sketch pad. Hey people, this is part two, tools of the trade trade whenever i'm creating or doing designs in my sketchbook the tools are necessary what i want to encourage you is not to do something arbitrarily or believe that you have to get the most expensive art supplies on the planet to actually create quality some of the works that i've done as far as my art i done simply through the power of just using regular pencils and pen. And so we're gonna give you guys two utensils that's going to be a necessity for starting off. The first tool we need to talk about is pencils. Pencils are a must for when you're designing your sketch pads, especially if you want to ink and color your sketch pads. And I want to encourage you to begin to start off with the basics, not just try to go in and do complex, but very simple tools so you can grow. Pencil and pens are what I started off with earlier in my journey as an artist. Now this is the main thing you need. You need ballpoint pens and you need gel pens. And we're gonna be diving in more on that to showcase and give you guys more insight on that. So now that we have the tools of the trade, it's time to move into the final part of this video, which is the tips and hacks to help you dominate your skin. Inside of one of my latest sketch pads and what I want to encourage you guys to do and to understand is the power of creating systems. There's sometimes in days where I'm not able to really do the art like I want to and so I have to some days create systems to actually help me to stay consistent in my art and my graphic design and some weeks I might do just nothing but graphic design and then the next week art depending on my schedule but having a system is key to fulfilling your sketch and creating and drawing on your sketch pads now the powerful thing about creating and designing your own sketch pads is even designing this is do a little bit a day my usual limit for me actually creating my sketch pads and designing I do several illustrations a day and eventually if you consistently do that you will begin to actually grow and finish your sketch pads. Remember, sketch pads are not something that you're going to use to burn you out. Just a little bit a day always helps you. It helps you to be consistent. If you do too much, you're going to drain yourself and become, begin to rush. This sketch pad that you see before you have 64 pages. And the, I usually do anywhere from three to four illustrations a day. Day, depending on my time to actually create this artwork so pace yourself be patient and be diligent and eventually your sketch pads will grow and you will finish I hope this has helped you guys get a greater understanding of what it is to create and design sketch pads if you guys would like to know more about this there are definitely links in the description to the official website thank you guys so much for tuning in it's your boy sketch the artist saying back on the grind y'all be blessed deuces